Takashi69 is back and he is winning once again. He has taken full advantage of his freedom. He has been walking outside the streets of his city daily, day after day, New York, then Chicago, straight to LA, and he shows no signs of worry or stress at all. So say what you want about 6 9 but right now he is able to talk all he wants considering that he has been outside every day and so far no one has made true with any of the threats against him. This doesn't mean that nothing can happen to 6 9 in the future, but for now, 6 9 seems to be winning once again and this has many people, including many rappers, very upset and they are not having it. These rappers have voiced how they feel about this situation and that's what we will show you in today's video so stay tuned you will not want to miss these rappers reactions. Also don't forget to leave a like on this video if you are a fan of 6ix9ine and if you would like to join this month's giveaway of a brand new iPhone 11 then all you have to do is subscribe to the channel and watch this video until the end to find and comment the hidden message. Good luck. Now when it comes to 6ix9ine if it hasn't been obvious. Throughout his career, he has made more enemies than any other rapper in history. Originally, this started from him online trolling and him constantly starting beef with other rappers, but then it hit a new peak after he went and snitched in court, and him snitching is the reason that he is free and able to walk around, but it came with a heavy price because it made Takashi the most hated and the most targeted rapper alive. And with all of the enemies that 6 9 has and the long list of threats that he has had towards him, you would think that he would make it a priority to move a little smarter, maybe somewhat low key, but obviously as we have all seen, that has not been the case since almost every single day since being free, 6 9 has been roaming the streets and he is letting everyone know about it. Like I said, you could say what you want about him, but right now, he is basically clowning everyone who threatened him, including many rappers who claim that he would have no career or others who claim that he, would, he wouldn't even last a week on the outside. Whatever the case is, it seems like rappers obviously always have a lot to say about 6 9 but right now he is getting the best of all of them. One rapper who has had a lot to say recently and has reacted to almost anything that 6 9 has been doing lately is Meek Mill. Meek Mill and 6 9 have been in a constant back and forth beef over social media and Meek has had a lot to say since the day 6 9 was let out of prison. It seems pretty obvious that 6 9 is definitely getting in Meek Mill's head because he causes constant reactions from Meek Mill. He's always getting the reaction that he's looking for. Meek usually goes to Twitter to express or voice out against 6 9 and you could tell that he has definitely been getting under his skin because his last tweet was a very threatening tweet and it was obviously aimed towards 6 9 In my opinion, I think that this is one beef that will not be ending or going away anytime soon because Meek Mill seems to be more triggered than anyone by 6 9 But he is definitely not the only one. There have been many other rappers who have also took to social media to voice their opinions on 6 9 especially since he's been walking around the city. Some of these rappers are on a smaller scale and they didn't really get the attention back from 6 9 on their comments, but to me it's actually funny how some of these rappers are still making threats behind their computers because they're basically saying 6 9 can't do things that he already did. He's been in other cities, he's been doing what people said he couldn't do, and people are still going online telling him he can't come to this city, threatening him, Everyone has a lot to say, but in my opinion, I think it's hilarious because right now, no one's threats have any weight because 6 9 has been doing anything that he wants. And not only that, he's trolling the entire situation. He's going on Instagram, acting untouchable once again. And regardless of what anyone says, he's getting away with it. But even for how far he's been going, 6 9 did make a very bad decision where he pushed the situation too far once again. After he made a video in front of Nipsey Hussle's mural in LA. This was the tip of the iceberg for Takashi after almost everyone took this as disrespect. This caused more rappers to step in, and their reactions were a lot more serious and a lot more threatening. One rapper who did not take well to this was The Game. He took to Twitter and made a subtle threat to 6 9 after calling him a disrespectful rat and he basically told him to keep playing. One of Nipsey's friends also had the same energy. He took to Instagram to call out 6 9 for being disrespectful. 6 9 I don't know why you coming to my hood. Don't come to no walk. Nip hustle a crib. Obviously many people seem to have taken this as 6 9 being disrespectful not really 
meaning what he was doing, which does seem like it could be true because obviously he was doing it to gain attention. Regardless though, it did not sit well with a lot of people and most of them are making it very well known. Most of these reactions were somewhat subtle, but one rapper might have taken his reaction a little too far. Slim400 went on Instagram to address this situation and to show everyone his new tattoo that he got that says F69. Personally, I think he took the biggest L by getting this tattoo because he literally tattooed 6ix9ine's name on his body and he even tattooed it like the logo 6ix9ine. He probably would have been better off just speaking out like everyone else did, but apparently that wasn't enough and now he looks like a complete clown in my opinion. He took the biggest L for his reaction because in all reality, this just looks like another win for 6ix9ine. He even had a go on the Instagram post and he laughed at it. He put like the dead emoji and a lot of people are just actually laughing that he actually tattooed 6ix9ine's name on him. But regardless, all it comes down to is the fact that 6ix9ine has not been free for very long at all and he is already receiving so much attention and he is creating so much commotion so quickly. He shows no signs of letting up and we can only imagine how far he could take all of this. The more he tests people's threats and the more he moves around like he's untouchable, the more commotion he will cause, which will have more and more people voicing their opinions, which just in all reality ends up more dangerous for 6ix9ine. He is getting away with it right now. I don't think he's moving very smart. He is getting on a lot of people's nerves and eventually, if he doesn't move a little smarter, it could catch up to him. For now though, we will have to wait and see how things continue to unfold, but it's safe to say that things are only going to get crazier and we will be here to keep you updated on all new activity. With that being said, I am going to end the video here. I do want to know what your opinion is on this situation. Was your reaction to 6ix9ine being out in public the same as these rappers? Because a lot of people were shocked that he actually did that. I did not think he was going to move out in public that quick, but he is just doing it. He has security, but he is taking all the risks. I'm also curious to see how many people think that 6ix9ine showing up to Nipsey's mural was actually a disrespectful move or if he actually meant it sincerely. I do want to know your opinions on all of this, so let me know where you stand with everything down in the comments. Also, don't forget to leave a like on this video, and if you are new to the channel, please subscribe. Mixed Ice Media, see you in the next one.